Birmingham is fast becoming the place to find the most exciting new talent. However, we tend to forget those who provide a soundtrack to the city, the street artists and buskers who serenade us as we go about our day, who are the sound of Birmingham. As the city that's produced artists from the heavy metal sounds of Black Sabbath, the ska and reggae vibes of UB40 and musical youth, to the urban lyricism of the streets, Birmingham's diversity and vibrancy is most definitely reflected in its music. Birmingham continues to yield musical talents such as female MCs, Lady Lejeune and Roxanne, and indie bands Swim Deep and True Mecca. Buskin veterans Shake Shake Go travel all around the UK performing and can regularly be found in Birmingham, entertaining locals with their indie pop anthems. Um, I think the main thing that drew us to busking uh, was just the fact that we could promote our band, get out there you know, yeah. face to face with the public really. Yeah, share the music with, with a lot of people. And so busking is just a really good way of getting out there to loads of different places and meeting loads of new people and getting them to hear your music because otherwise we can write songs but no one's going to hear them if we're in our bedroom, <laughs> like just writing them. So it's, it's really important for you to have a fan base and uh, basically if you want to get signed or if you want to go further you, you, you need to have like a proper fan base and do everything uh, yourself first. Yeah. It's, it's a really different atmosphere between busking and gigging like, um, like busking you're out in the open and you really don't know who's going to be there like you don't know what's going to happen because there's so many different people that you meet when you're busking that they'll, people will either stop and really love it or they'll just walk past and you're like oh. <laughs> you know you never know. I think if, if we play a good gig, then it's, it's, it's great fun. But I think busking, especially when, when we're having a good day, it's, it, there's more of a con connection with the, with the audience. Um, yeah, it's very different. Yeah, it's just t totally different, really. It's really good with the busking because, yeah, like, you know, you don't know anyone. Who's, no one's come to see you. So when people just stop what they're doing to watch you, it's, really, it's a really nice feeling because they don't have to. Well, we've had some weird experiences when we were busking. One time there was a wedding proposal. Someone asked us to play for their proposal, which was really cool. Um, yeah, that was really... I didn't know what to do. They are like, OK, I'm proposing to my girlfriend. Can you play? I was like, yeah, OK. <laughs> like, we don't really have that many romantic songs, but... Yeah, she said yeah. no. I'm kidding. No, she <laughs> yeah. no, she but. liked it. That was eventful day. The same day a dog did a wee in the <laughs> guitar yeah, case. Yeah, guitar case, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The Birmingham public, are, they're really nice. They, every time we've come, they really seem to be into what we're doing, which is always good. Uh, well, we're, we're hoping to do some bigger venues and some, some, some of the bars and clubs around Birmingham at some point over the next few months. Most of people do the same. I mean, we're not like other buskers where we don't come here to uh, make money, really, or we don't, we don't want to make money uh, of it right now. We're just trying to make a fan base and, and, and try to save money to, uh, to go further. And, and yeah, we're not busking for money, we're just no, busking no. to get and out there. It's quite rare to see a band uh, playing originals in the street as well. Most of the buskers play progress because that's what gets people. And, uh, I, I, I'm quite proud to do originals in the street. I'm quite happy about it. And that. it's always nice when people like your own songs. Yeah, it is. Oh, we've played some places and like by the end of the busking they'll be singing along the lyrics to like our songs and like, it's really cool. So. Like I was saying to someone before, if you saw your favourite band just playing in the street, it'd be so cool. As Shake Shake Go continue on their busking tour, another voice can be heard over the hustle and bustle of Birmingham City Centre, the soulful sounds of singer, songwriter Ash Cooper. Uh, I started busking about two years ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, originally it started out just because uh, I needed the money and I wasn't that good at music. I think over the course of two years I've gradually got better at it, but it was definitely the money to begin with. And uh, out of all of the buskers like, that I've ever met in the whole of the UK, the one thing that we've all got in common is the money. It's, it sounds shallow, but, uh, but money's more important than the music sometimes. Birmingham's one of the better cities. Uh, I only really play here, Wolverhampton and Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, Birmingham, it's getting my face known. And say, if I'd have done six months here, then I'd have people from the general public coming up or maybe offering me a coffee or chilling for a little bit. 
And more people see my music, like there's lo so many people walking past, that if I've got leaflets or just my YouTube or anything, just the odds of one person checking me here is more likely than anybody researching me at the gig. So every day is different with busking. I think that's what I like about it the most, is that you never really know who you're going to meet, what's going to happen or where you're going to go. It's, it's freedom, I think. I think if I got a record deal, I'd want to continue busking, but I doubt I'd be allowed to, because people would then have to pay for my music. Uh, I play 90% of my own stuff and 10% I make up off the top of my head. To be honest, even the covers that I do play, I don't know the chords because I don't know how to play guitar and I don't know how to sing. Uh, I, I just guess. Accidents and various other things. You know, I've, I've broken my guitar in, in half in the process of playing. Uh, and that was during a song, I think, which was a great way to end, was all six strings snapping, which is a really loud sound, by the way, almost louder than me. So, uh, not to mention that I've met crazy people, um, like fundraisers, I've met a few fundraisers and, and just randomly been on dates in the middle of the day and I've had people just sit down like, and literally sit down cross-legged on the floor and watch me play for maybe up to an hour or something. Uh, when you're a busker and you're listening to the music all the time, the sounds kind of come into your music as well. So even just people walking down the street makes almost like a nice background sound. I think you could just film Birmingham on its own and, and just put that as a record. I don't care about your money. I don't care about your family. I got